What is going on, everybody? My name's Jacob Forster. Welcome to Sally Face. Uh, I have been asked so many times to play this game, especially after playing Little Misfortune and some of the other point and click uh, interesting games like that. This music is insane. All right, let's just go straight into a new game. There's five chapters. It was just like the last time. And I think I'm going to play one chapter at a time. I think they're about, about an hour long each. Only this time, it started in a hospital. From what I what from what I realize about this game, what I recognize, I guess there's uh, some mature content in this. Keep that in mind as we're going through this. It's not a traditional like puzzle game. It's a little bit a little bit more mature. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> starting off great. <laughs> Full bandages on my face. Answer the phone. Sure, I guess. Hello, caller. It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Uh, am I Sal? Sally face. Oh, I guess it makes sense. Who is this? <laughs> Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. Oh. I'd like to turn on the lights, please. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Man, what happened to our face? Oh, I got a little eyeball poking out there. Interesting. Push. Oh, there's a key down there. A key? Q. Oh, it's my inventory. My stuff! <laughs> the key I found on the floor of the hospital room. Okay. Interesting. So let's see what we can kind of do in this game. Figure out what we need. I'm assuming... Oh, it just opens. It's strange. The door we just came out of is bricked shut. <laughs> D. Uh, uh, wait, where did I just come from? <laughs> Wait, I don't know if I wanted to go in there. We got room P-O-N-M-3. Why is there a three down there? What about M? Oh, interesting. So it's A, B, C, D. So there's four of each. So what if I go into A? So did I miraculously choose the correct door to start things off? I think I did. I, I'm just going to double check with B first. Just to make sure. Okay. So D is first, and then it had three, so is it O next? It is, okay. Okay, all right, I, I get the pattern. F is a little suspicious, so I'm gonna go into F. No! Okay, so we got D, third door. Is there a number I didn't see somewhere? So we got H, E, F, G, H. G, let's try E. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. Okay, back there, back to the O. I'm assuming it's H then? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay. O, and then I guess G is the option. Mum bum. Oh, and that's it. Weird, where? Is this a funeral? It's gotta be a funeral floor for us, right? They don't know that we're still alive, or maybe we're not actually alive. <gasps> Speak to the dog. <laughs> Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? <laughs> Go see for yourself. <laughs> what a weird dog. <laughs> oh, there's number six uh, in the very top right of the tree. My face is going to be in the way, but it's up there. Trust me. Diane Fisher, mother, oh, beloved mother and wife, 1948 to 1984. Huh. I already forgot the numbers I saw. It was a four and a, oh, there's another four right here. Am I gonna have to remember these? Surely not, surely not. Battery's not included, it's locked. Oh, I must've already used my key then, didn't I? Oh, did I break it? <laughs> did I get that code right somehow or is it just not supposed to go through? <laughs> I don't know what I did. <gasps> Father, you have the same hair color as me. Dad, you are not my son. My son is not a murderer. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> This is your fault. What did I do? 
What did I do? Did I murder our mother somehow? Mom? Are you? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. And that's when I woke up. Hmm. Yes, it's an interesting dream. Dr. Enon. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? <laughs> Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Hmm. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Addison Apartment. Episode one, Strange Neighbors. Oh, okay, so okay, that was not the first episode. <laughs> now we're getting the first episode. That was the prologue, the prologue that we've got. <gasps> Look at us with our cool mask. <laughs> Dad, this will be our new building. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? You expect me to find friends in the time that it takes you to unpack some packages? Absolutely heinous. <laughs> leave, Sal's room. Dad's room. Let's go bug dad. Oh, father, I don't see you unpacking anything. Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? Not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. Hmm. I miss Jersey. <laughs> I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks, and then you'll be able to make all the new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I miss Mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. See ya, Dad. Try not to get into too much trouble. Oh, I'm gonna be the biggest troublemaker there is. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the living room then. Um, let's go into my house, my room. <gasps> Kitty? Gizmo! I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. <laughs> I love Gizmo. <laughs> Don't you dare, game, do anything bad to Gizmo, please. Is that SNES down there? Or Game Boy? Maybe a Game Boy? Oh, the Gear Boy! I was wondering where that was. Oh, sick, dude. My Gear Boy. Looks like it needs new batteries, though. Oh, I love it. Okay. Sick. So I, I, you know, I, I didn't even notice a prompt when I walked up to that. I just hit space because I just wanted to. So I don't know if there was anything that I actually saw there. Bags. Okay, let's check the bags, I guess. Just some stuff dad got from the store. Nothing important. Okay. Why could I click on it then? Bathroom time. Beep beep. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. Oh, the sleep aid. After mom's death, I'm assuming? Okay, well, it seems like our only thing to do now is just to leave. So what's out here into the big wild world? Sal's place, number 402. Elevator, we have the policeman. Hello. <laughs> Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. <laughs> now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. <laughs> Who are you? I'm your very effing godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. <laughs> what happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you roll along back to your parents? I wish I could. <laughs> They're dead. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> classic. Absolutely classic. Let's knock on 401. No one's home. Dang. Okay, I guess we're going to the elevator then. Dad, Dad, you'll never guess it. I made a brand new friend outside. He's got a, uh, he's got some sick, uh, <laughs> what are these called again? <laughs> he's got a sick handlebar mustache and he yelled at me. <laughs> All right, we're on level four. Oh, let's go to level five. Let's see if we can. It was cool to get to explore around the apartments. Notice this floor is currently being renovated for your safety. Please make your way to the nearest exit. Locked. Dang it. 504 looks suspicious. Oh, I can go inside. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir, are you okay? 
You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get my new get to know my new neighbors in a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. You sure you're okay? Oh, hello. Oh, what the? Just like that? He's gone. He left his little newspaper nest behind. Strange. Very strange. What's over here? Bathroom. That's weird. The bathroom door's locked. Hmm. All right, let's leave. I don't like this floor very much. <laughs> okay, so that one's still locked. What's over here? We can go inside that one. We can go inside that one. Let's try 502 first. Okay, locked. 501, also locked. <laughs> That's it, I don't like this anymore. I'm going to level three, where hopefully I can find some friends. <laughs> Friend time. Uh-oh, wet floor. Oh, come on. I can't walk past there. I got anti-slip shoes on. <gasps> no one's home. Hello. Hey. <laughs> oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from Fro 2, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Sally Face. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Wow, what a, what a kind janitorial lady. I don't know what your official job is, but you're doing mopping right now. Also, I, I know I haven't mentioned it yet, but what's going on with the mask? <laughs> Why do we have this mask on? Was my face horribly uh, destroyed or something in a lava accident? I don't know. Okay, we're at level two now. Let's see. Number two or three? No one's home. Curses. 204. <laughs> Charlie. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I just want to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Oh gosh, no, I don't want to come in. I just want to say hi. <laughs> hi, my name's Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. <laughs> what the hell's with your face, child? <laughs> oh, I know, young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself, I get it. <laughs> just so long as you're not in a gang or anything, you're not in a gang, are you? No, no. Nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. Won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. <laughs> He's a brony. Let's go. Uh, what else we got here? Is that Freddy Fazbear? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I can look, but I can't touch, right? Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? My god, child, have you never seen my glitter ponies? <laughs> Rainbow Spectacular. It's only the greatest television show ever produced. <laughs> it's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. <laughs> and the ponies, oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. <laughs> the zoom in on his face is so good. So good. Wait, can I tell? What, what is there? What else is there to talk about? Oh, okay, we do have more. So, dot, dot, dot. Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've seen, never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take in, take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. <laughs> Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you, I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. <laughs> what a lovely fellow. <laughs> Good old Charlie. Okay, so no one is home here. Let's 
go over to 202. I I'm trying to figure out the the actual like point of this game so far. It's great though. No one's home. Like wh what are, what are we doing in this game? <laughs> That's dot. Hmm. I guess no one is home. Why did why did you interact with it that way? I'm also wondering. Uh, did I need? Did I have more talking options with the the wonderful janitorial woman? I'm gonna go back and see if I can talk to her a little bit more. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? Ah, uh, here we go. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24/7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. Happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot uh, about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. What a lovely outlook on life you have. Um, so, do you know anything about what happened in 403? <clears throat> it's a shame you and Dad had this crummy first impression. I promise, things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Miss Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. <gasps> You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Okay, good, I'm glad I uh, came back to talk to her. Is this building haunted? <laughs> Sal, sweetie. I've been taking care of the Addison apartments for a long time and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies if you ask me. All right, well, see ya. See you around. Let's see, we got the key card. Addison Apartments basement key, ID number, blah, blah, blah. The key card that Lisa gave me, I can use this to access the basement. Super cool. Very glad I came back. Uh, let's go down to floor one. I wanna get all the goodies in this place. Talk to everybody that I can. <gasps> Addison. Knock, knock, knock. Oh dear, what a frightful, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, let's start over. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Addison? Mr. Addison. Hello, young sir, new resident of the Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Uh, how do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? <laughs> Heavens no, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Uh, sure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Farewell, friend. Oh, weirdo. No one's home. Oh! Detective? What's going on? It is a detective. Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? <laughs> I can't talk about that. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> so long. Murder? Someone, somebody's been murdered in this building. No one's home. Oh, oh Miss Gibson. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? <laughs> a little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, stupid good-for-nothing kids. <laughs> Why did she look like a goblin with green skin? <laughs> All right, let's go down to the basement. I wonder if I'm able to have multiple conversations with people who do answer. Because I didn't even bother checking with some of those doors. But either way, we're going to have make a new friend. <gasps> Laundry. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. <laughs> Not. Biohazard waste, let's go. <gasps> Lost and found? Maybe I can get some batteries. No batteries around here. All right, where's our friend? <gasps> Vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. Not really hungry though. Okay. All right, 1B is where the friend is going to be. Huh, so is this her, Larry, Lisa? Yeah, so this is Lisa's apartment. Interesting that she's underground. Bathrooms, just like my apartment. <laughs> Excuse me? 
the hell was that? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, that was bizarre. A little spooky. Bathroom. Nothing in here. Nothing over here. Well, toilets look a little bit dirty. Nice sunset picture. Larry and uh, the mom. Uh, whoever those people are, that's leaving. Larry and Lisa. It's locked. All right, let's go say hi to Larry. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Uh, hey, come on in, door's open. <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> Whoa, nice mask. Oh, yeah, that's a nice mask. It's a prosthetic. <laughs> oh, crap, sorry, man. It's cool. Uh, I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? Ooh, the origins of the face. Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Dang it! <laughs> okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the a-holes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. <laughs> that's why you're- that's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free with the maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. That is actually a really cool gig. Uh, <laughs> to just have a free room as long as you're just doing the maintenance for the building. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so... <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's got to change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. It better not play real music. <laughs> this might actually be real music. I might cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, we're just going. We're going. Okay, let's let's keep let's keep. What happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary crap. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything. You stupid bee. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack of the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. <laughs> Why do you trust me? <laughs> this music keeps going, by the way. <laughs> you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. Charlie! He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. <laughs> Not Charlie! Should I tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. <laughs> Let's change the subject. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him. He'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay. Cool, I guess. Radio. What's this thing? That's uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? <laughs> That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective. Something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. <laughs> well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with you. Uh, I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet! So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. 
I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing! Then I can give you a heads up too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore? Make it a little bit more believ believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this, head to your room, and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. Nice. Where's my, oh, there it is. Walkie-talkie, the walkie-talkie that Larry gave to me. I can press shift to call him. Nice, <gasps> painting. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude, it's my passion. <laughs> Crow man and wolf boy. Creeper. Odin's blood, the fear within, zombie everything all the time. <laughs> Dead things, your soul will be destroyed. What is that one? Is it inside out? Is that what it says, the clown one? Hm. Well, seems like a nice enough guy. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> all right, I feel like I should go get some tea first. Out of all? Back to floor number one. Mr. Addison. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison. Okay, Addison T, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. <laughs> oh, there you are, sir. Please enjoy. <laughs> nice. I got a little bit of the tea. Addison's tea has a funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking this stuff. Okay, I could probably go give that to somebody. I don't know. Um, I'm curious about you. What if I give you some tea? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? I met Larry. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too. It's good to have a friend again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. Do you need any help? Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? <laughs> well, <laughs> I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. That's cool. I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type, like my Larry. Glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. What do you, uh, what do you worry about? Uh, I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff. Let's keep things positive. Okay. Oh no, I lost my other options to talk to her. Interesting. There's someone over here. I can't, can't reach you though with the wet floor sign. All right, uh, I guess it's sneaking time, right? Sneaky, sneaky. So I need to go when I'm in my apartment, you said? I assume? Yeah. <laughs> Rude officer. Actually, let's talk to our dad first. Let's see if he's got anything else. Maybe he wants some tea. Oh, he's knocked out. Oh, at least he's trying now. Not drowning himself in booze. Not totally giving up on life, on me. Hey, a quarter, score! <laughs> oh, poor dad. <laughs> He's a drinker. He's a drunk. Well, he did just lose his mother, which is not an excuse, but, uh, or sorry, his wife. Not an excuse, but you know what? <laughs> it's unfortunate, either way. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way back down to the basement. Cause I've got a quarter, quarter. Can I put that in the vending machine? Get something cool? Hmm, still not really hungry. I better hang on to this quarter for something else. Uh, what about a laundry machine? Gee, I sure am. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let's let's do what I think we need to do, which is go back to level four, go to our apartment, press the shift button, and get the police officer to scoot on out of there. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. He's making the call. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get in a 403 now. I'm on it. I'm on it, man! Sneak in. Maybe what about 404? No one's home. Okay, let's sneak in. Let's see what happened to the, the... The whole door frame is torn apart, too. Oh, no. Well, then. <laughs> Examine. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. All right, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, Sally face. 
<gasps> the bronies! <laughs> There's these little figures. Looks like one's missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get them. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Oh, it was the brony. <laughs> Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Miss Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offered her, uh, offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. <laughs> exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks, effing fatty. All right, all right, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watched too much TV. <laughs> Perfect. A quarter. I found it on the floor in my dad's room. I'm sure he won't miss it. And the baggie. A plastic baggie that I can use to grab the pony toy from Charlie's room. Sweet. I got a lot of goodies here. Quite a lot of goodies. Let's leave. Let's go to the... Still not hungry. Let's go to the elevator. Where was Charlie? Two? Is it 201 or 203 or something? I think it was 203. 204? Charlie's place. Uh oh. Ooh, is that Addison tea I smell? <laughs> yeah, I just got some from. Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. <laughs> His mouth. <laughs> so tasty, so relaxing. <laughs> oh, I must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my bodies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. One dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. See, if you get any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. <laughs> Um, I know they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. Wait, is there nothing else I can do except get more tea? Sure. Huh. Did I do it out of order or something? Like, maybe I was supposed to look at them and then give them the tea? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> Just a wee bit. All right. Yes, yes, yes. More tea. Yes, coming right up. Thank you. Can I do it again? Addison tea. I'll be happy to refill your cup once you finish the first. Good day to you. Okay. Interesting. All right, level two. Get you a little bit more tea, buddy. I got more tea from Addison. Wonderful. <laughs> Look, I just noticed his big toe sticking out of the sock. Ah, uh, so relaxing. Please stay asleep this time. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I walked too far. That's what's happening. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, come down. Oh, wait, what? All right. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> or am I doing it completely correct? Come downstairs. What's up, buddy? Where, where you at? Let's go into his room. Larry! What's up, buddy? Uh, I'll give you uh, some tea. Great idea. Bet that put him right to sleep. It did, but only for a minute. Hmm, if only we can make it a stronger somehow. <gasps> oh, I know how. So what is this haunted? What is this? So is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chug? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him, but anyways. I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know? I guess so. 
All right. Uh, yeah, I know exactly what I need to do. Why did he want me to come downstairs? I guess just to give me the confirmation that I do need to do something different with the tea. Um, so yeah, looks like I was doing it proper then. So level one. Get more tea, please, for Mr. Addison. Coming right up. And then we're gonna go to level four. Level four. Perfect. Gonna go back to our apartment. And then we're gonna go to the bathroom and take the sleeping pills. This is in our bathroom, right? Yeah. This will knock that guy out for sure. Ah ha ha, T plus sleep aid, let's go. Awesome. <laughs> We're committing crimes here. <laughs> Police officer back? Yes, he is. How's it going, officer? <laughs> Don't you get tired of standing there all day? <laughs> Any news on finding the killer? If I find out you're tampering with police evidence, you better pray I don't find out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, back to two. What was it? Three. <laughs> Can't remember. I think it's two. Charlie. Go back to Charlie's place. All right, Charlie. Guess what? I got another cup from Addison. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I could drink another drop today. Surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh, nice, and hot. Well, maybe... No, I don't want to overdo it. I probably had at least 20 cups today. <laughs> Are you positive? This is, um, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. I already had three cups, and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that. Give me here. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is better than the original. I don't know how he... <laughs> you sleep aid with the tea. Okay. <gasps> Got the toy. Score. The bony toy Charlie took from Mrs. Sanderson. This thing is kind of creepy in a way. <laughs> it's the murder toy. Nothing else useful here. Just an old man's creepy pony collection. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Um, why does it look like the look thing disappears and comes back like I can look at something else? That's why I keep coming back. Yeah, right there. I don't know why it does that. It's fine. We're out of here. I guess I can hit tab to uh, give him a call, right? Or shift. Sally face, my man, good luck. Okay. Uh, do we just want to go down to the basement then? Blum, blum, blum. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Snacks? Still not hungry. Dang it, I want to use my snacks. Or my quarter for snacks. All right. All right, all right, all right. We got this thing, man. We got it. I got the toy! All right, Mr. Smooth Criminal, I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. <laughs> I bet. Now all you need to do is give it to that detective. It'll be all over. Okay. Cool, I guess. Where's Mr. Detective? Was he on... <laughs> floor one, I think? Yeah, I think he's on floor one. Let's just double check. Boom! All right. Where you at, buddy? <gasps> there you are. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. <sighs> I think I know who did it. Uh, have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, um... Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help. I do, but unless you got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time, you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir, you got it. Look at us go. Wow. You know, that, that that evidence isn't gonna hold up in court. They needed a warrant to seize that thing. <laughs> Not a small child. <laughs> Welcome home. Okay. So I can leave, leave, huh? 
All right, let's leave, leave then. Oh, Mr. Detective. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Okay. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I mean, I said, I swear, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> yeah, it sucks to suck, you murderer. <laughs> Bringing smiles to the dead. No one was around. So I looked into the back window of the van. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well then. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. <laughs> Fifteen years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. <gasps> really? After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Aw, oh, man! Wait! I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strictly they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. So I hope you'll let me help you. Trial? Are we on trial for <laughs> false imprisonment? Huh. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. Oh! Interesting. <laughs> you might be the only one. <laughs> the intense music again. Let's go. <laughs> Charlie's Pony. Finished episode one. <laughs> so, I don't know what this game is even about still. <gasps> Sal? Sally, where are you? Hmm. Who could that be? Um... Is this the next chapter already? Or is this like a prologue to the chapter? I don't I don't know when I can safely exit the game. Guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I understand the game, but <laughs> it's a little, it's very strange so far. Mom, don't wander off so far, sweetie. I wanna see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? You should be here any minute now. But I really wanna see it, please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, all right, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees. Didn't the dog bury her alive? Is that what the dog said? It's not. It wasn't us. I swear. I like the art style of, of uh, Sally walking. It's really cool. It's got like the scribbles around it. Okay. This isn't really waiting by the tree now, is it? Creepy dog. Hmm. <laughs> Did a dog bite my face off? Is that what happened? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Such a bizarre game. Dog? Dog bones? Human bone? Paramedic? Ambulance? What is going on? What is it? What is this? Who are you? Mrs. Sanderson, thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally, Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. <laughs> and the street corner is just so did What? What? <laughs> I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming this is this is the next chapter. Let's quit. Uh, main menu? Episodes? I just wanna double check. 
Episode 1 is only 60%? Oh, is that like secrets? Wait, I'm so... I'm so... <laughs> Did I not finish it? <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm... I'm confused! I'm confused! It's fine, it's fine. I, th I think... So I hit continue. Where does it where does it bring me? Okay, okay. Yeah, well we'll just we'll just continue off right here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the actual chapter starts because it said chapter one previously. It's not doing that now. So I may just have not activated it yet. But anyway. <laughs> I'll be back. The achievement said I finished chapter one. So I'm going off of that. I'm going off of that. I'll be back for uh, another episode going into episode two, chapter two, whatever it's called. This is a sloppy outro. <laughs> But so far, I like this. This is very unique, very interesting, very much like uh, Little Misfortune. Kind of where you're just going through and experiencing a story while kind of figuring out kind of puzzle sequences as you go along. And this game also has like a, a really strange but unique kind of dark comedy aspect to it. So again, similar to Little Misfortune, which is why I guess so many people were like, you got to play this one, Jacob. You got to play it. Completely understand. I completely understand now. Uh, curious to see how this develops. Figure out how Sal lost his face. Why Sal is being convicted of murder and how we're going to get out of this, if at all. And how much of it is actually in Sal's mind. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. If you'd like to see any more content from me, welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later. <laughs>